I'm in Zagreb, Croatia, and I've just presented at the Peering Days conference on the subject of our AI future. If a robot responded identically to a human, both emotionally and logically, I think it would be quite hard to argue that that robot wasn't conscious. And then you think, well, hang on, there's got to be more to consciousness than just electrical signals. You know, we're alive, we've got a sense of self, maybe even something magical that transcends the physical. And whilst these feelings are absolutely real, the science says that they're all created by the signals and structures of our brain. Now, there are two competing theories at the moment regarding consciousness. One of them says we will create consciousness in computers in the future and the other one says no matter how hard we try to program consciousness we won't actually create it. Now I would argue does it really matter? I don't think so because surely what matters more is how the computer thinks and what it actually does. So when will it happen? Well in 2017 350 AI researchers were asked a question when will a robot be able to do everything a human worker can do, but better and more cheaply? There was a big range of answers, but the average was round about the year 2060. And that's very much in line with my own view that it will happen within the next few decades. When computers achieve a similar level of intelligence to humans, something very interesting and quite scary, in my opinion, is going to happen. And that is that computers will evolve their intelligence very quickly, way beyond human intelligence and become super intelligent. Now just think about a comparison between an intelligent computer and an intelligent human. So signal speed within the brain, it's about 200 meters per second in this brain. And for a computer, around about the speed of light, one and a half million times faster. But what about the size? So I'm constrained by the size of my skull, but a computer could fill a whole data center or could distribute itself across the whole of the internet. And here's a very important one. How long does it take for smarter models to evolve? Well, for humans, we've evolved from Neanderthals who lived 40,000 to 400,000 years ago. So it takes tens of thousands of years for humans to evolve. Compare that with computer evolution where new smarter models could be created every single day. So when you pit computers against humans in that sort of context, it would be like having a race between a racing car and a snail. And unfortunately, we're going to be the snail. If we assume that super intelligent computers are imminent and will be here within the next few decades, then one of the biggest questions for mankind is, are they going to be safe? The late Stephen Hawking said that AI will surpass human intelligence within the next hundred years. And when it does, he just hopes that their goals are aligned with ours. And in fact, it's not just the goals that matter, but how they achieve those goals. That we want them to adhere to our values. And that's a really big challenge. Firstly, because our values evolve with time. And secondly, because if you ask the question, what is right and wrong morally, there's such a spectrum of views across the world that who do you take notice of? You know, me, you, somebody else? It's very difficult. The consequences of having super intelligent computers in the world are really difficult to predict. And when I try to predict them, I feel like I'm a chimpanzee trying to predict the achievements of mankind. The two thoughts that I do have are, firstly, I think it's very unlikely that we will be able to control a super intelligent computer. And that being the case, all we can do is set it off on the absolute best path possible and hope that things work out. Now, one thing for sure is that it will be the most revolutionary thing to hit mankind since the Industrial Revolution. And actually, I think it might be the most 
revolutionary event in Earth's history since the creation of life itself.